This one comes from one of the biggest funds in the world called Fidelity Magellan. And the fund was run by a legendary fund manager called Peter Lynch. Now, a lot of investors would think that investing with Peter Lynch would probably give them a free pass to the holy grail of investment. But what we are more interested in here is the evidence. Back in 1978, when Mr. Lynch started, to run the fund, he delivered a stellar track record in the first few years by outperforming S&P 500 for about 26% every year. Starting from 1985, the fund started to grab the attention and by 1990, when Mr. Lynch retired, he was managing about $16 billion in his fund. But the return during the second period after 1985 was actually much worse. By 1999, the fund has reached a peak of about $100 billion, making the fund one of the biggest in the world. But for those investors who came in after 1990, the return was very mediocre. It's almost the same as if those investors had bought S&P 500. And obviously those investors haven't got a good deal because to get S&P 500, all they need to do is to buy an S&P 500 index fund or ETF at a much lower cost. So the moral of the story to me is that investors should never take for granted, especially from those marketing arms of investment banks and fund houses. You might think that it will guarantee you a high return if you invest with a celebrity fund manager, and this is not necessarily the case. What the investors should pay more attention to are the real evidences such as how much am I paying this manager? Is he really delivering the value that he claims to be delivering to me? Is the fee that he charges justified by the service that he is providing? <laughs>